Now, who's up and coming? What's coming up? We talking television, film, entertainment, and such. The hottest time. And we're back, people. Industry Soup. We have an amazing special guest yes, from ETV's Boss Up. Tyler Dust. Boss Up TV, give round of applause, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler Dust or Tyler River? Oh, you know what? That Rivers thing was from a sitcom thing that I shot, and they messed that all up. But, okay. Uh, I go by Tyler Chronicles for branding purposes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I want to first of all say thank y'all for having me get here at 12.45 and put me on for the last 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that and giving me this Don Cornelius microphone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Soul Train. <laughs> well, as you can see, he's a comedian. All day. Right? All, all, day. all day. That's first and foremost. Yeah. So you actually, <laughs> tell us about yourself, tell us about yourself. Yeah, I'm uh, originally from Los Angeles, Inglewood, California. Inglewood. Oh, uh, yes, indeed, man. But I've been in Atlanta for a long time. Started my comedy career here in Atlanta. Um, was on, It was in a uh, improv group, Snack Pack. That's, that's it, actually that's where it. I'm in yep, deep. Yep, yep. Um, you used to come to a lot of shows and stuff like that. And um, from then on, I started doing stand-up. And actually, mm -hmm. July 28th, which was about a week ago, I uh, celebrated eight years doing. Nice. I don't know oh. if you can celebrate, but yeah, eight years yeah. in the comedy. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's what's up. And now I'm on TV. Right. Look at me, mom. Well, at least one more week. We got one more episode to shoot, <laughs> and then we got to let the white people decide what they're going to do with our life. You know what I'm saying? White people hold their life up like this, like, yeah, we're on vacation. Wait, so let's see if we're going to be careful. Hey, tell two. us about the show. So, you boss up was on social media. It was a It was a, it was a, a show at first. Was it? was it a show? Oh, okay. Yeah, so boom. So, at first, we tried to do a, a, um, a show like The Office. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Scripted yeah, show. Yeah. We had six episodes, pilot, shot it. Um, had a Jasmine Burke from Saints yeah. and Sinners. I was going to say, a lot of people was down on it. Yeah, D. Half Kenny, all them shit. I hate being called Don. I should say that. But D, uh, mm -hmm. everybody, Demetrius Briggs, a lot of people. Great, great, great thing. I liked it. It was funny, but I just think. The stuff we were talking about was topical, so it had to come out that same week yeah, or it wouldn't yeah, be great. Yeah. So, Absolutely. So she, uh, the, the owner of Bossa, um, shout out to Marv, she went back to uh, WeTV and was like, hey, look, what if we do a reality type of show, mm -hmm. um, TMZ-ish, right. you know, but we're going to make it a lot funnier and actually have celebrities come on the show okay. and talk about the gossip as well. And I think that's what separates us. And myself and Ronnie Jordan, another comedian on there, we do green screen oh, stuff. So you were basically cast to be on a show? To I, was, a I was on the TV. sitcom show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then that led that didn't that didn't go anywhere. They pitched that for like a year, and then um, for like a, 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 a year after that, I was actually on the site. They had me come on the site and do green screen stuff, oh. um, kind of recap all the crazy stuff that went on for the week. And then that kind of led to. What Did we anybody doing. else stay on? Um, from from the sitcom show. No, just mm -hmm. myself from the sitcom show, mm -hmm. and then Ronnie came in, who's another comedian, and everybody, and another young lady named Mara that was doing stuff for them on the website. But everybody else on there actually works for the website. They're the ones right. that are writing oh, stuff wow, every wow. day. So that's yeah. a real thing. Okay. So yeah. how, 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 do, how do people have to audition for this, or just like? Uh... Um, let me see. Well, I like I said, I had been working there. The other the other people have been working there. Um, for a long time, and then um, Ronnie had the audition kind of okay. sorta of, in a tease, and we had um, Special K actually okay. audition too. They had two other people, okay. and then um, shout out Special K. Yeah, shout out Special K. Show. Yes, indeed, and, and and you know that was pretty much it once they figured out how they wanted to run it. So mm -hmm. it's dope. Okay. Special K before. So is there anything on the show that um, you think that? Um, you guys, because uh, because uh, it's kind of set up like the. Hold on, let me go back. Well, y'all done talked about everything that I want to talk about. Okay, 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 First okay, of all, okay, y'all. Okay. I was like, hold on. I thought I came here to cover some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so let me go back to Bobby V. Let me tell right, you. Okay, let's go. Yes, I'm let's sorry. See. I'm sorry to cut you off, man. But look, what's your take on Bobby? Yeah, my yes. take on Bobby V. No, is he didn't get tricked because. Oh Lord. No, oh Lord, me. Wait, listen first. <laughs> uh, all three, all the, all five of the fellas that are in here right now. Mm -hmm. If we were tricked in that situation. We would react with anger. Yeah, Bobby V was somber. He had his boy shorts in front of his face. His boy. <laughs> and first of all, what kind of grown man gets dressed um, shirt first? He out, there looking like, he out there looking like a male. If you don't put your bottoms on, like my nephew, hair up, put your pants on so we can leave. Why was he still running cool? Though? Why oh, was boy. he running so cool? <laughs> if he was tricked, he would have got his shoes. He would have got his keys. He would have got everything. Been like, man, you know what? I should kill you, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm just gonna run down. The hallway, but instead he was like, "You out at me? I'm gone back." <laughs> oh my god! Why would you do this back? Oh my god! He probably just panicked. You don't know how he's gonna. That's respond. not the face of panic. Did you see his face? Mm -hmm. Everybody's panicked before. I agree, but you're not as cool. Bobby's agree, the coolest man on the face of the earth. He was tricked and he was panicking and he was like. <laughs> 
Don't uh, film me. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too calm for him no, to be no. true. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you? They shit. They ain't like, nobody. To your point, though. What's that? He can, um, when we were talking on the side too, I feel like he can he can probably recover from this. You know what I'm saying? See? Like he had a, he had a, a small fan base, I'm sure, you know, because it's been a while since he had something out. But that fan base is still going to mess with him. He's going to have to own up to it. Like, yeah, this is the thing people don't understand. When you, when you lie and don't own up to stuff, it lasts so much longer. Yeah. Sure. Example, yeah. David Letterman had sex with his intern, right? He yeah. called him out. He said, hey, my bad, y'all. My bad. <laughs> and I swear to God, that thing was gone in two days. In two days, people were talking about something else. And, and until I just said something, people forgot about David Letterman. <laughs> 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 Look at these baseball players, the ones that just came out and said, hey, I did steroids, and it was over with back. In, in months. Sure. The ones that never admitted to it, just kept going. Until this day, People would think Barry Bonds and Marvel Guard cheated. Cheated, right? If they would have cheated, they'd be like, oh, they cheated, but they still was hitting that ball. Right. <laughs> Giambi, the other one for the Yankees, yeah, I did it, and it was over like that. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That's a good so I, think, point. I think honesty is what the public would appreciate the most. Yeah, it's easy for us to say because we ain't but have a transvestite like film with us. <laughs> but, you know, you know, if you're hard to bounce back from. From from boy pussy. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! That's, that's a tough one to come back. To. I I'm wouldn't sorry. know. Because <laughs> you're in the shit school. We've just been canceled. We've just been canceled. Right. Oh, oh, there goes our sponsorship. Yeah, before we get out of here, uh, buy some uh, week TV on Tuesday, <laughs> on Thursday, at 10 p.m. What else did we talk about? All right, what you feel about Usher? Oh yeah, yeah Usher um, is facing the bumpy road. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, so the, if if he's out here, um, this is gonna be the thing. All right, he had one young lady, and obviously he infected her. He knew he infected her and paid her, so that we know that that part is true. The judge said it, and it's true. So I don't think it's no longer oh, here. Oh, issue with that, right? Yeah. So now, if he's out here <coughs> infecting other young ladies on purpose, I feel You're like right. yeah, that's that's an assault. Yeah. To me, that's a assault. Like Charlie Sheen. Yeah. That is murder. Charlie Sheen should be charged with murder. Yeah. Usher could be charged with assault, but I ain't no snitch or whatever. But listen. Assault with a deadly whip. Assault with a deadly penis. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a bumpy penis. Oh, God. It's a nasty yeah. crunch. But look. It's a nasty crunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Usher, but what we were saying, Usher's fan base is much bigger than Bobby and And he has yeah. the money. He has money. He has the money. Yeah, Just like, you know, it, it might take some more time. And Usher, uh, um... Usher uh, just might need some more time like R. Kelly did to get through his situation and then he got his fans well, back. I don't remember Eddie Murphy had a situation happen to him years yes, ago. Yeah, James Worthy. Yeah. Yeah. James Worthy had him too? James Worthy crashed in the car with a transsexual <coughs> wow. in the car with him. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he, uh, he but didn't it, this know was, was This was not a time of social media. Come on, now here we go. Now, if we had social media, all the greats that we think That's of today may, may look different. Like yeah. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix. Just think if they follow him around with a camera phone, what you would think about yeah. Jimi oh, Hendrix. Oh, Richard Pryor. Richard you know, Pryor. Yeah, he wrote about it in his book. Right. Yeah. But he talked about it and people go right by it. You oh, yeah. notice that? Yeah, the fact that he talked man. about it, yeah, sexually. people don't be like, oh, Richard Pryor out here sucking dick. They don't even like, yeah, he he like oh, when he was a little kid. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know that? Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Richard Pryor yeah. sucked a few yeah. people. You know, it, it was, it was a, a kid in his neighborhood who would molest him, make him give him head all, all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a child. So, what you think about Bill Cosby? I don't. Okay. What, is he dead? <laughs> now, what's the new story? Is it a new story? No, just the old oh. story. The old story. He oh, was our, oh, oh, oh. I mean, you're a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. for sure. Um, um, <sighs> this is my thing about Bill Cosby and his show. First of all, they tricked us. They said it was a positive show for black people, and that was wrong. Oh, wow. Cliff and Claire was the only positive people. <laughs> Vanessa was a mess up. She came back home with dad. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Theo was retarded a little bit. I don't know if y'all remember that. Oh, he had to go to the school class. Um, <laughs> Denise bought back uh, Martin from college after she was there for 13 years. <laughs> and she bought back Raven Simone and don't nobody like that bitch. Um, and who else? Oh, Rudy was a hoe because she had all the boys in her house with nobody home yeah. all the time. I don't know if y'all remember that. Well, 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 but it's Kenny. Oh, <laughs> whatever. But oh, what's the white boy? Peter. Okay. Peter. Yeah, Peter. Peter was up in there. So anyway, but yeah, that's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. I had another point I wanted to bring up. So you were saying that like old artists should give it up. Rap artists. Mm -hmm. I think that's unfair. Yeah. 
as as hip hop fans, mm. we shouldn't be like that because you got Rolling Stones, yes. you got Iron Maiden, oh, you got true. all these old that's groups true. that get to go and tour and make money. Who yes. are we to tell somebody to stop making, doing what they've been doing since they were a child and making money? Look at Smokey Robinson. He's still Wait, making so, music. So, hey so, man, fuck Smokey Robinson. Um, <laughs> nah, look. They had an issue with Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, Smokey not Robinson. fuck Smokey Robinson. Shout out to him, but check this out. They had an issue with Smokey on the show. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not even playing, so check what? this out. So well, I did This was the first controversy, y'all. The first controversy, and it was legit. Legit too. Okay. Like I got called out of my bed at one in the morning. So check this out. I did a, a we do our green screens, myself and Ronnie, and I did a, a segment about Smokey Robinson. There was a news story that he was single now. And I was like, yes, yeah, a whole bunch of old ladies chasing him. Yeah. And he was like the Drake of the seventies and all that. <laughs> and so so his his wife now must have got mad and made us do an apology. So they called me at one in the morning because we film on Wednesdays and it, it goes to air on, on, on Thursdays, but it has to be in by like two o'clock. Mm. They called me at one in the morning. I was like, man, we need you to come down here and do a disclaimer for, um, for Smokey Robinson. So I went up there and apologized. Boom. I went back home, went to sleep, woke up again. That was like, yeah, they said it wasn't good enough. You got to do a different Ooh. one. So I went back up there again the next morning at probably like 930. Did another one. Was that on? But is that I'm on surprised. you? Did well, well, you yeah. get, so did you get some information? No, no, no. So this is what happened. It was on a fake Smoky news Rock. site. Uh, we mentioned the site. We said it was called it Page Six. Yeah. Everybody knows about that. And, and we right. said that it was a fake news story. Right. We, we actually said it. And we came back and said it again. Yeah, so so they ended up, um, you know, legal legal just hit us up like, hey man, you know, wow. he's not happy with it. Yeah, see, see, I'm I guess you got to TV. Well, no, no, if you, you do a show so quick, you you don't have time to fact check. You really don't. But you know what? Those your producers though, right? and stuff. So yeah, so listen, we get we get we get our our our, our stories. What we're gonna do, kind of like Tuesday ish. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Tuesday night, and then by Wednesday, we we figure out what's exactly gonna be on the show that morning. But up until then, we got a. a, a Super team of producers and they're really like doing the research, yes, and then also yes. the people that write for Boss Up, they're okay. legit doing research okay, so on these actual stories. So what about the people that sit behind you on the computer when they play Candy Crush? The people sitting behind us on the computer, um, shout out to um, all of those websites that let you become an extra, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Oh, they signed up and they wow. got they're getting their TV time, they're yeah, not they're playing words with friends, yeah, yeah, they're not really, yeah. The workers at Boss Up are all 30 and up. How did you get the deal? Young. That's what we want to know. How did you get the deal? Because this is like a blog, and now mm -hmm. you're on TV. Like, oh yeah. my god! So oh check my this god. out. That blog gets about five million individual uh, users coming to their site and viewers yeah. coming to their site daily. Yeah, boss is huge. Yeah, so like if you look at the, and, and you look at a like Ball Alert, Shade Room, and all that stuff, they have a bigger and huger uh, social media following. Yeah. But people don't really go to their website mm. to look at stuff. So people they, go to your website. So people go to their website. That's so they media got takeout. Huge That's number. Smart. Media takeout is fake. Like, I mean, not even be like on no beef shit, but have you ever read me to take out? They don't even fact check no. anything. <laughs> They're like, Usher is pregnant with a herpes baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, they, and they don't even spell stuff right. They don't care. They ain't fact check. They ain't even spell oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do not care. So they're, 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 I think they're like more entertainment yeah. stuff. Like Bossup considers is, is considers legit, legit, legit the journalism, journalism, even though what they're talking about is not legit stuff. But they mm -hmm. actually fact check. They call these people and people call them and mm -hmm. trying to get stories and it, it's crazy. So you had any like issues on the street, like local? Uh, anybody run up on you talking about man? I like what you said about me on the show. Oh, not yet. I'm waiting on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all see these guns out here. I'm waiting on whoever's trying to come up. Run up and get done up, and I'm strapped, number two. <laughs> Letting you know. Yeah, man. Nah, but it's, I'm, I'm, the way I do stuff, I feel like um, it's in a way, you know, we're comedians and people know that, and I think that um, I try to do my jokes as if if the person that I'm joking about was in the same room with me, right. they and would laugh And you can say too. it in their face. I would definitely yeah. say every joke that I've said on TV. There's a certain face. line you want to cross, right? Yeah, yeah, we don't do And they don't let us do that. There's been I've crossed the line mm -hmm. on set, mm -hmm. but they don't run it on air. Yeah. Shout out to the production because they, they really keep me safe because I say anything I want to. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I think, like, we gotta, I think we got to get a taste of that right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like one time, everybody was talking joke about Kylie and Kendall yeah. Jenner, right? Yeah. Like, they're crazy. They're cultural appropriation. I was like, well, look, y'all would be crazy, too, if your mom had a dick. And they was like, wait, cut <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> and like, we're not gonna be able to run that. We are women's entertainment television. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so mean. That was 
genius. Hey, I'm a comedian. I get you. I'm, I'm right here with you, bro. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> so what are you saying now? You're saying you don't know your your future on the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying now is we have uh, um, we have one more. We have an episode airing tonight, mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. How many have, episodes have you done? We've done we've done five. Number six is on the nice. way next week. It's going to be the last one, quote, unquote, for the first season. So it's a summer series, basically. Yeah, it's kind of like a test pilot type yeah. of thing, yeah. but yeah. we've been right. getting great numbers. Uh, we've been holding in the numbers from the show in front of us, which is Grown Up Hip Hop. Um, oh, which really? Grown Up Hip Hop ATL and the original You're doing better than Grown Up Hip Hop? Uh, I'm not going to say that on here, but I'm going to say that we've been keeping the numbers that Grown Up Hip Hop has. Okay. <laughs> and, um, which is huge, you know what I'm that saying? That is like, huge. Some people, like, a lot of successful shows better to keep, like, 90% of the people that watch before we've been keeping in the upper 90s and sometimes, you know, you know what right. I'm saying? Good, so good, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's been really good. So now it's going to be we're obviously going to take a break and it's going to see probably something well, in the fall. Well, how do people around. how do, how nowadays are, do people keep up with the numbers of people are watching like I've watched mm -hmm. your show but I ain't watched it live Bro, yet. Do you, you, have, you have cable? I get, on yeah. yeah. Exactly. I watch yeah. it on demand. They know your name, your age, what so hairstyle you, you have, have today. <laughs> yeah, oh, so boom, that's a perfect question. Yes. Yeah, so there's an L3, L5, L7. Um, and what that means is you have three days to watch it on your DVR after the premiere of the show, and it still counts towards ratings. Nice. Then you have five and seven, but most networks only look at the three in wow. terms of their wow. early ratings. So it depends on what, what time they watch it. Yeah, so, 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 so watch our show by Sunday, and we get credit for it. <laughs> don't be, don't be an L7. Support. Don't be an L7. Don't be an L7. Yeah, or just turn it on and walk away and vacuum and do something. Just let, let it, it run. Let it play. Let it play. What if I record it? Does that matter? That's what I'm talking about. That's the L3 part. Okay. So, okay. so you got three days to watch your recording. Oh, oh my bad. You got three days to, three watch, to watch your recording before. Yeah. You just, you just stay in game up, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> just gotta, <laughs> you gotta watch the premiere. Yeah, he looks crazy with that holding that thing. Just by the way. Hey, but now nah, yeah, you got three days to watch it. So yeah. yeah. Wow. So well, how um are you guys on the show? Like you you tape. Ginya, Ginya does not again have not have a question yeah, in mind. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just wanted to talk. She's <laughs> yeah. that person. She's like, I'm just gonna start talking. It's gonna come to me. What's the next step for you, man? What do you, what do you, see, what do you see your career in the next couple of years? Oh man, um hopefully I wanna I wanna get in some movies. Um I'm actually um look. This is guy named Dwayne Boyd that I really want to train with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like acting wise. I, I, I've heard about it. But he got too many clients. Bro. Bro, it's hard. I, look, hey, look, hey, look. Hey, look. I've always been bad at school, so I'm not gonna be good in a class. I'm gonna mess everybody up. I'm gonna be talking. So look, I was I was wondering if y'all knew if uh, Dwayne had like a um, like private? individual. Yes, private. he does. Oh, okay, okay. We, we do private. Can you oh, afford yeah. it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the I funniest part. Yeah, yeah, when we get season two, you, I'm, you, I got you. You good on the money? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask. But how's the money? The money is good. Shout out to WeTV, man. I appreciate y'all, man. They cutting them checks. They cutting them checks, oh. and and they're doing they're doing like. They're doing like a solid in the net in, in, in the industry because they've only ran our um, shows. All that stuff is hour long shows. Growing up hip hop, mm -hmm. uh, uh, married boot camp, mm -hmm. all that stuff is hour long show. Mm -hmm. So we're a thirty minute show. You can't have an hour long gossip right. show. It's gonna get too ridiculous. Yeah. Right. So we're a thirty minute show, and they went back and forth with that. And WeTV finally was like, you know what? We're gonna take a chance, and they took a chance, and we're doing really, really well. So let me ask you this: Say if I had a show idea for you, could you pitch it? Could you walk in and pitch it yourself? I could pitch it to yeah. I could pitch it to the so we have a separate production company mm -hmm. that WeTV basically hired. So mm -hmm. I could pitch it to them, and then they have access. I the other oh, networks, okay. and I could pitch it to WeTV because their people, the network people, are on set. So we need to talk so. after. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Every, they, they, they like me too, and I like them. They're no. cool people, man. You, you, just, you just need a vehicle. Then. There you go. Well, Tyler, but you want to act though? That's the yeah. real thing, though. Yeah. Um, we I love stand up comedy. It's like cocaine. You know, there's no there's no better feeling in terms of getting right. like the instant gratification because mm -hmm. you know you you acting and stuff. You'll learn about how, what people feel about it maybe a year. Right. You know what I'm saying? But with it, with stand up, that's that's still my first love, mm -hmm. and um, I want to do that. I'm on I'm on a tour with Ronnie Jordan and Darren Brand from MTV's Wild and Out called nice. a Big and Bigger Tour. Nice. Uh, we're gonna be in Raleigh coming up soon. Uh, we're gonna be in Panama. Getting it, man. Wow. Yeah, that. So, so stand-up comedy is next. I want to be in movies. Um, 
maybe some more television show. I want to be. How close were you to cut the plan? Try really going pro with basketball, man. I'm oh like, man, you know, you know, you like that? Uh, yeah. Well, look, okay. I wasn't. Or you're not pro, but not overseas. Yeah, yeah, I had a. Played yeah, in high school. I had an invite. She, she just local, you know. Yeah, she local. Yeah, that's local. Right. It's fine. That's fine. She just local. Look, you. I was, I wasn't great, but he I, was, he, I was a he smart local. player. <laughs> yeah, land. Oh, local land. Nah, but I, I was a smart player. I played really hard, and and I, I knew the game, and I could make some shots. So I had some some invites to go, but I wasn't really into it by the time school was. The passion over. wasn't there. The passion was gone, man. I hurt my knee a thousand times, and it was just like that's shout out to any professional athlete because if you're over thirty and you still go running and bumping and tackling people every day, bro. Yeah, I was just in the table yesterday with Kyrie Irving, mm -hmm. Shaquille O'Neal. And a Chris Webb. When I tell you, man, Shaq is, is unbelievably big. He first, of all, yeah. Yeah. first of all, and the Kyrie's not as big as I thought he was. Mm -hmm. He's about six two at most, and mm -hmm. so yeah, I get I get that, man. These guys, you know, you, if if you play in the league over ten years, you're a I, special I, being. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. about, that's not even talking about football. Oh, right. man. I went to a Falcon game one week, and I, I was sitting close, and I saw how the boys were slinging their bodies. I said, no way possible. No These are, them football players are. Massive, <laughs> massive, yeah. quick as hell, hit hard. That's the like, thing. Man. You be sitting at home running your mouth about what you <laughs> like. Right. What you wouldn't right. even come close. He's on the fifty yard line, ten, ten rows in, and say that again. Say that again. Huh? Watch how fast and fast these dudes are, and how loud it sound when they get hit, and how she they just wait, how they just jump up and be like, "Woo!" If I got hit like that, I'd be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Don't run, Bobby V. <laughs> you have your shoes. Bobby's our boy though, man. We gotta, yes. we gotta fix this. Oh, I don't know him. Yeah, I know you. I don't even. Right. We gotta fix this. I've seen. I, you know what? It. Nah, we ain't gotta fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby got his lawyer on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bobby already put out a statement. You know what I'm saying? He know what he's gonna do, man. Hey, you know what though? But shout out, shout out to um, all, all black men that are trying to do anything positive in this world. I hate that bad stuff happened to right? me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kevin Hart. It's bouncing back from that real It fast. was a hard month for July, but for any R&B artist, it what? was a rough. Like, man. R. Kelly. Usher, now by, it was just a no. hard man. What Chico the Barge was out here tripping. <laughs> what Chico doing? Chico, <laughs> Chico, 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 Chico the Barge always tripping. Y'all just don't hear about it, man. That other nigga from Millie Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, we, we like to play this part of, uh, of our show. Yeah. What is your favorite spoof on the entertainment business, film, TV, any, any, no, any, any movie or show that makes fun of? The, the real stuff, yeah, like 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 new. Oh, I, 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 I got one. I got one. Yeah, what was yours? Oh yeah, y'all go first. Like, what was yours? Well, my, mine's a definite entourage. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Entourage, classic, the classic. Mm. Entourage, love entourage. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that series three times. What, what made it so good for you? Uh, the characters, man. The characters. You felt like he was part of the crew. You felt like he was part of the crew, right? You did. You talking about HBO? Yeah, yeah. HBO, yeah. entourage. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the movie wasn't good. I heard the movie wasn't good. That was good to me too. Do, it was good to me too. Oh, but it, you, ha you have to be like a fan of the show. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. It wasn't better than the series. No, yeah. that, that series was a genius. He was just the, his character. The main character was named. Uh, he was always positive. Like he never got upset. He never got down. Vince, 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 Vince. He stayed in the level. Yeah, he, he, he was his. He was. Harley was, was my favorite character. He was, Harley, Harley was a beast. He, he, he was the dude that kept everything together. Yeah. Turtle, Turtle was the dude boy. Right. Turtle, Turtle was Turtle's on power. Yeah, John 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 was the dude that just wanted that fame against brother. That's based off of what's the name Mark Wahlberg and his family. His yes, friends yes, and family. Yes, so, yes, yeah. That's dope, man. That was dope. But dope. how are they making fun of stuff, though? Uh, everything. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. just that, you, you know what? Stars would come on that show and pretty much be assholes of themselves. Right, right, so right, that's what right. made it genius. You know, they had real cameos of people playing themselves. Exactly. Like Fiddy was on the show one time. Fuck with Turtle. I Kanye West was on there. Was on there. Everybody, everybody, was on there. everybody was on. wanted to be on that show. Entourage was the coolest show on TV at one point. She misunderstood the question. The movie I have in my head was White Chicks. Smooth. You, you did understand. You did misunderstand. Yeah, you misunderstood. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to you. Yeah. I got you. Spoof of the industry See? kind of stuff. I get because when you heard spoof, your yes. mind probably shut off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So he what's just like, on he, just, he just local. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so check it. Uh, I'm not even sure if mine falls under the category because it kind of did to start off with because uh -huh. Five Heartbeats was supposed to kind of be like a comedy spoof about R&B uh -huh. singers, right, right, right. but it was so well written and got kind of dramatic. Don't know that you was going, yeah, you was going to the register. Look, can I get that high five? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. It was a real group. I posted a shout out to a uh, scene from the, to, to Townsend one day, and the girl was like, "I've never heard of him. Who are the Five Heartbeats?" She really like, you dumb. I never you heard of him. Young girl. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the situation, but yeah, that's a young girl playing. Who is Keenan playing? Why is they playing? <laughs> 
my movie, my <laughs> show is a show. I don't know if you guys ever watched this. If you haven't, you should. It's a show called Entourage. I mean, so X um, uh, Extras that was on HBO. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yo, yo, I tell you, man, that's dope. Three seasons. Best thing on TV. Hey man, you on some good stuff. Come on, Mas man. Master of None is a tremendous Genius. underrated Genius. show. Yeah. Genius. It is and underrated. You saw the Angela Bassett episode, right? Man, what? I seen all of it. The yeah. Both seasons. Yeah. Like, what about the New York one? The New York one was dope. Where they yeah. went around. I watched all of both seasons. And I'm putting you on something else if you ain't on it yet. Ozark. Is it on point? Man. Is it on, it's on there? Yes. I'm going to check it out. Yes. I got some people that's on this show. Oh, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, well, whatever they're doing, whoever they are, they're doing a great job. Nah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a tremendous series. I, I'm a fan of great writing, great storytelling, and truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, when the, the, the truth is funny than anything you can write, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you get a chance, also check out Divorce on HBO. It's always great. Sarah Jessica Parker and Thomas A. Church. Uh, divorce. 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 Oh, divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, good. That's a good Genius show. Yes. So I'm feeling good, right? But Extras to yeah. me did a great job of spoofing. Because this guy, Ricky Gervais' character, starts off being right. an extra and he gets everything he asked for. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you, when you get stuff, you don't, you don't know if you want it or not. <laughs> That's what was genius about this. Genius. He just, it was such a great arc on that show. Yeah, yeah we're going to give you another opportunity. I can't think of nothing. Damn, we're going to grab one. We're going to grab one. I didn't know I was supposed to be thinking. Me too. Oh, what about Real Hot? Real Husbands of Hollywood. Okay, there, there you go. go. There, there you go. go. Can you and give it up? Give it yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like. I like. <laughs> I like the first few episodes that I saw. And I didn't finish the show though. Was it it's still? You still watch it? It's like, I don't. It's about four seasons deep, but yeah. like if you watch the first two seasons, stuff, you got the, the best season. part of it. Yeah. 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 Shout out, man. Shout out to you. You know what? It's a lot of black people working again. It's like the like 90s. Like never before. Yeah, yeah, bro. This is even more. Remember back in the so, day yeah, when well, I'm thinking so more, more, more of stand-up comedians. Okay. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm thinking more stand-up comedians working on TV. Like in the that's 90s, true. as soon yeah, as well, stand-up yeah, got okay. hot, they got a sitcom, yeah. they got everything, and that's kind of coming back around. But just but now we have right. dramas. We have yeah. all these shows. We have shows we've never had access to. True. true. You know? Just a few years ago, we didn't, it wasn't like this. Well, we got our first superhero Marvel film coming out, Black Panther. We didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we had before that was Meteor Man. Shout out to Sounds even trying to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Oh, he, he was oh, the first yeah. Hancock, even though he was lazy. Hancock. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they try to make him a nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, man. I think we out of time, brother. Thanks yes, for tuning in. Thanks where, for where, coming. Where can people follow you? Get more information about First you? First of all, you can catch me tonight uh, with every Thursday night. Season finale, right? Yeah, well, no. Nah, next week will be the season finale okay. unless okay. this comes out next week. No, it's it's comes comes out yeah, right yeah. Now. So next week will be the season finale, August uh, tenth. Um, but this this uh, Thursday tonight, August third, we got ten p.m. Boss up on WeTV. Oh, Check us out. Nice. Like I said, just play it even if you ain't there. Let it run. Support. Yeah, and the, uh, Instagram Tyler Chronicles, and they got all my other information on there. My Snapchat, my Black Planet, my Christian Mix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got the same joke because he said the same thing. Oh, stop. Hey, why are you hating though? Stop being Don't have the same <laughs> joke. Ah. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I hate you all of a sudden. Right before we, right before we left, you got right to the end before I hate you. I don't hate nobody. What? <laughs> well, thank you. No, thank y'all. Industry yeah. School. Thank, thank you guys for tuning in. in. Thank you guys. See, See you next, next week. week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have our own TV show. Yeah. Who's up and coming? What's coming up? We talking television, film, entertainment, and stuff.